headed back to New Orleans Driving in the country Past old timey scenes Big birds were singing In the tall willow tree Mighty fine Three words written on a paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black Thrown in a van to thousand miles back. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the mountain. Well today is the day. We're going to go ahead and try to get all of these roof rafters up on the well house. As you can see behind me, I've already got two of the rafters up and somewhat in place. I went ahead and did that because I'm about to get my chainsaw and I went ahead and marked with a sharpie on each end right over there and there. For where I need to cut off with the angle that I need to cut off, I'm just going to grab the small chainsaw, go ahead and chop it. It doesn't have to be pretty. You're never going to see it and that's the easiest way to cut those four by fours instead of doing it with a skill saw all up in your face. So we're going to get that done and then go ahead and get those first two rafters put in place that way i could put a string line with a screw on each end and it'll make setting the rest of the rafters so much easier because i can just go off the string line and put them on two foot centers and set it and forget it all right let's go ahead and get at it <laughs>
All right, guys, we got the first two rafters up, measured. Everything is nice and square and level. I also went ahead and ran the two string lines from point to point. And what that's gonna allow me to do is gonna make it to where I don't have to measure every single time when I put these rafters in. I'll be able to bring the end right up here to the string and I'll know that this way is correct. I also know the measurement from here to here. So as I go through here, I will be able to kind of push this in and out and make sure that everything stays square and level. I'm still gonna have to take the chainsaw and cut that one and that one in the middle, but we'll do that whenever I get to it with the ladders. I actually have three ladders up right now just for me working. And what that does is keep me from having to move ladders all day long. Whenever you're uh, working by yourself, you find out all kinds of little tricks to kind of make it a little bit easier. Just like when y'all seen on the video where I was putting these at the end right here, I screwed another piece of wood just like that to it. And what that did is it allowed me to move it around without knocking it completely off and having to come down the ladder and pick it back up and all that. By doing that, I know that it's gonna be straight up and down like it's supposed to. I could slide it all the way there and toenail it in there. For right now, all I'm doing is toenailing these rafters in. I will end up putting some hurricane clips on there. And also I'm gonna put a two by four in between and nail it to that too. All right, the next step's gonna be, I'm gonna go ahead and mark out on this lower side right here, two foot on center. And that way I know where the boards kind of need to go. And I will go ahead and lay each one of them up there. And then I'll start working my way through, shaking them out and tacking them in. That far side, that's the higher side. I'm just gonna measure the two foot on center individually with them as I work them down. Being that it's so high that I can't just walk down the line. Less moving the ladder. All right, now that we got them all shook out, now it's time to get them nailed in. I got them somewhat shook out, somewhat even. I'll have to measure a little bit in between. I'm gonna go ahead and measure the ones on the bottom that I've already got the lines right there. I'm gonna get them nailed in place. Then I'm gonna make me a little template in between these. That way all I gotta do, stick it in between and bring the raptor over to it. And I know my measurement's the same and I ain't gotta pull the tape when I'm over there on the high side. All right, we got them all up as far as the main section goes. I had to get a little creative right here because this one in the center was twisted pretty bad. That one right there, the one I was talking about when we put them up, that was twisted from the weather. And it actually got a little worse once I put it up. So I had to get a little creative with my bracing to push it out and to get this straight. It also didn't help that the headers that I was using we're also warped up pretty good as well from laying over there for about four months before I started this build. I hate working with twisted wood, but it is what it is, as expensive as it is now, huh, I'll take it. But I got the twist pretty much out of it. There's still a little belly right there, but I can actually pull that in whenever I do the wall there. But all in all, not too bad, not too bad. I got Ryder out here checking out the scene. I guess the other foreman is slacking on the job, but Ryder said, I'll be your kitty. Come on. All right, well, it's about six o'clock right now. Margarita's on her way. We're going to film a Fired Up Friday tonight and eat some of those good groceries. If you ain't went over to my cooking channel, Fired Up Friday, make sure you do that. I'll put the link right there. We cook some good groceries up here on Come On Mountain. But in the morning, we're going to come out here. We're going to hang some hangers right there. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go off that header right there, if I'm gonna drop one a little bit lower 
and then bring my rafters down there i don't know we'll have to see i'll pull some measurements and stuff in the morning but we're getting close we only have about one two three four five six more rafters to go before all the rafters are up on this building and we can start prepping to put the deck up there all right guys i'll see y'all in the morning good morning good morning well we are back at it the hurricane finally made it past florida my kids and family are safe I actually took yesterday off to kind of monitor everything. I was all up in my head. I wasn't going to be too good to be out here building while I was stressing about my family there in Florida. Prayers out to everybody that was affected by the storm because it definitely did some damage. But now it's time to get back to work at Come On Mountain. Now what we're going to work on today is I'm going to actually put another header up right here for the lean-to area. I don't want to put the joist hangers on the top right there that close because it's going to make it to where the metal won't slide up underneath there that good so i'm going to drop one down two by six just butt up to that just to give me about a foot space to be able to slide that metal up now whenever i start roofing this high area right here i'm going to stop right there that way i can get some screws in the end of the lower metal before i cover it with the high metal on the top but we're going to go ahead and get these joist hangers in i got my little foreman out here today clips is actually grounded because she got into a whole bunch of stuff last night around here and chewed up everything she even pulled my tool bag off the table and got into one of my sharpies and got sharpie all over her face so she's going to be in her kennel today she's in a little bit of trouble but rider is up to the task huh are you up should we get to work let's get with it all right Ryder said i gotta get to work so let's go ahead and get that header up first and then we'll start putting in those joist seats i'll show you a little trick to make it a little bit easier than trying to fight a full board Now what I like to do is when I'm working by myself, I use the ladders most of the time to hold my other end. And then I go to the one side and I make it exactly level right here and exactly tight, but I only put one nail in. That way, whenever I pick up that end, it keeps it nice and tight. You gotta use little tricks like that whenever you're working by yourself. I wish I had a little bit bigger C-clamp. I would put a C-clamp on the other end pretty close to the measurement and that works too. But I don't. I tried to use one of the small little hand clamps that I got and it just fell right off. Alright, typically what I do when I'm hanging joist hangers, I take a little cut piece of whatever size wood that you're going to use. In this case, it's a 2x6. I get the first part of the joist hanger straight and level, which I already know because I have a straight line right here. And I put the first side on, and what we're going to use is an inch and a half galvanized hanger nails. I like to get the first one in like that. I double check, make sure everything is straight. I double check, I make sure everything is level, which it is. Then I take my little scrap piece of wood, I stick it in there, and then I bring it up tight. Not too tight though, to where you can't get the actual, you can't actually get the rafters in there, but snug enough. And then I typically put the top one in. Once you get it started, you can pull that piece out. There you go, you can double check it. And you're in there like swimwear. All right, let's go ahead and get the rest of them up. Also, when you're pulling your measurement, after you get your first one there, if you go outside to inside, that right there would be your center mark. Makes it a lot easier when you're hanging these joy seats right here instead of having to measure this open area every time.
One more. And you're standing in the way. You gotta move. Now that we got all the joist hangers on there let's go ahead and get the rafters up all right guys i went ahead and put up one of the rafters but i went ahead and put it in one of the joist seats i have a small gap right here because of the slope and it's tight down here at the bottom what i'm going to do is measure from there to there make my mark right here take it to the chop saw cut it and then i'll flip this board upside down slide it up there and it'll close up that gap once I figure out what that slope's going to be, I'll go ahead and cut the rest of them and just stick them in place. Now all I got to do is square off this line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from this corner to that corner. And that right there should give me my slope. As you can see I got all the rafters in place I also went ahead and laid them out on this side right here that way I can go ahead and start nailing them off but as you can see there's no gap it's a nice tight fit and that's what we're looking for all right well this will be the last step right here is nailing those off and then we'll go over what we're gonna do on the next video to get ready for the metal deck Alright guys, we got everything nailed off. Let's take a look at it. Alright, on the main side here, we got everything the way that it's supposed to be. Alright, on the back side right here of the main section, we got everything up and nailed off. I do not have the hurricane strapping on here yet. I still got to do that. And like I said, I'm actually going to block in between each one of these. On this side, the front side, 
and the front side over there on the lean to and what i'm going to do i'm going to block it with a two by four instead of a two by six that way it has a couple of inches of gap up at the top because what i'm planning on doing is i'm actually going to build a little soffit right along the bottom here around the front up there and the front on that side there's really no point to do it on the edges but what i'm wanting to do is i want a little bit of gap right here so the two by four will come up to here i'll probably have a little bit of space right here because the inside is going to be insulated in here if i put a little soffit here with like some welding wire and a couple of spots throughout so it can vent itself it will actually help keep mold and stuff like that down on the installation because this isn't going to be heated and cooled all year round it's only going to be heated in the winter whenever the well is in jeopardy of freezing now once i get solar out here i might put something in here to regulate the temperature a little bit in the summer for the solar and that kind of stuff but the well the main thing is for the winter so there's still a lot of work left to do on the next video we're actually going to come up here and we're going to level down and cut these off straight and cut them to length that way whenever i put the soffit up there and the fascia board i'll have a little bit of gap left over from where the metal will actually hang over and on the low side on both sides i'm actually going to put a gutter system for water catchment for this building as well so on the next video we're going to straighten up the edges and make sure that we leave that necessary gap that we need for the fascia and the gutters go ahead and get our runners running across the rafters that it will actually hold the deck i'm actually going to go with an inch and a half thick boards running across the top to give me a little bit more gap and a little bit more strength for holding the solar panels up but we are moving along now it is starting to look like something you can see now what the actual design and shape is going to be it's actually going to be pretty nice i believe so that will be the well house that will be the laundry room and that will be the solar furthest away from the well and then this front area right here i don't know if i said it earlier in the video or not i'm going to make a little courtyard area right here plant some nice plants and stuff like that maybe have a water feature and do that mushroom out of the stump that we talked about and make a little gnome garden right here so i think it'll look really really good whenever it's all said and done we just got to get it finished all right guys well thanks for joining me on this episode i can't wait to get started on the next one we are making some progress now but i'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today so until we see each other again guys come on let's go on another adventure